Hey, what's going on guys? Bringing you guys the Jets video for today. Uh, if you guys haven't checked out my website, I'm going to throw the link down. Uh, we're updating it daily. We're getting interviews with players and prospects. Uh, we got a free agent tracker on there for you guys for March 13th, so check that out. But I'm going to get to the Jets. Here we go. So the Jets finished their 2011 season on a three-game skid. They finished at 8-8. Eight and eight. I believe the offseason goal is to address the offense. They had a top 10 defense, fifth in yards, and they had the 25th ranked offense. I mean, that tells you something. You got to hit the, uh, you got to address the offense right there. Unrestricted free agents, they got 12 of them. They got a handful of top names being Nick Folk, the kicker, uh, Sione Pua, defensive tackle, Adanian Tomlinson, running back, Plexico Burris, wide receiver, uh, Jim Leonard, and Brodney Poole at safety. It's interesting with that safety position, I believe they at least need to re-sign one of them because they only have two other safeties on the roster. They don't have much depth there. Um, so Jim Leonard would probably be the bright spot out of the two to re-sign. Nick Folk, the kicker, I believe they should re-sign. Uh, Plexico Burst, there's talk that he's not coming back to the Jets. LT, there's talk that he's contemplating retirement. And Sione Pua, you could possibly give him a contract one, two, three years. He's 33 years of age. Uh, he'll bring you some veteran leadership on the defense. Now come draft day with the draft needs, they got wide receiver, outside linebacker, uh, O-line specifically, the guard position, running back, and safety. Uh, out of all the videos I made for all the teams so far, this is the uh, most guys I've had on a prospects list uh, for any team. There's eight prospects for the Jets that I have written down. Kendall Wright, wide receiver. I believe they could address a, a depth, more depth to the wide receiver position. Um, Michael Floyd. Now, Kendall Wright and Michael Floyd interchangeably could be the number two wide receiver coming out of this draft behind Justin Blackman. So those guys could be mentioned going to the Jets. Courtney Upshaw, the outside linebacker. They need a guy who can uh, rush on the outside, bring that pass rush, and Courtney Upshaw would be perfect um, in that in that uh, defense. Lamar Miller, running back. I believe the, if the Jets do draft Lamar Miller, it, it would be a reach. I believe he he's a late round, more to uh, later first round to early second round prospect. So I believe Lamar Miller would be a reach for the Jets. Trent Richardson would be a steal for the Jets because Trent Richardson is there's a chance he falls. Um, He's had minor knee surgery. I don't know. I mean, if he gets past the Buccaneers or the Redskins at uh, uh, 5 and 6, is there a chance that the Bengals trade up with a team in the top 10 for Trent Richardson, or do they let them fall to the Jets at 16? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. Cordy Glenn, David DeCastro at guard. Um, they, they need to address the guard position. Either one of these guys could be the top guard in the draft. We'll have to wait and see how their pro days go as well. And then Mark Barron, the safety. Uh, Mark Barron, he's, uh, he's, he's the top safety in the draft. And in my Mach 1.0 and my Mach 2.0 draft, I had Mark Barron going to the Jets. Now, in my 3.0, I've got Courtney Upshaw going there. It's funny how the two defensive players out of the eight um, are go I've, I have them picked even though they need to address the offense. But if they do go defense in the first round, I believe they need to address offense second, third, and fourth round because they need a lot of help there. So that's my Jets video for you guys. If you guys liked it, I'd appreciate it if you hit the subscribe button. And uh, that's all I got for you guys. So I'm out.